Hello, my name is Meredith Angel, and I'm an ECW Certified Implementation Specialist at River. In today's short video, I'm going to show you the process and workflow on how to create a virtual check-in, which can also be used for e-visits. Now, a virtual check-in is a short five to 10 minute encounter with a patient who calls in, seeking information on whether they need um, continued care or further treatment. An e-visit is a non-face-to-face -face encounter with a patient through an online portal. Now, both of these items start within the telephone encounter jelly bean. And I will show you how to go into a progress note to create documentation from the telephone encounter jelly bean. The first item you will want to do is create a telephone encounter reason for virtual check-in. To create the reason, you'll need to go to admin, admin, and if you have access to this section, you simply use your normal ECW username and password to sign in. And these steps can also be taken from the EXE platform. You can see I'm working in the E or Chrome-based platform. But again, this can be set up in the EXE as well. I'm going to scroll down on the left to the notes section. And you see my search bar in the upper right window. Now you could sift through these nine pages, but you have a search bar here in the E platform. So I'm go just going to search TEL and telephone encounter reasons pops up. After clicking once into it, I want to click items, create an item, and I'm going to call this virtual check-in. You can also create one for the e-visit and create an, a reason entitled e-visit in order to track those easier. Now I can see that my virtual check-in reason was created and I'm going to go to my telephone encounter jelly bean. Now again, when a patient calls in, a telephone encounter is always created And by going from this telephone encounter that has already been created, you can document for a virtual check-in, or if it was a web encounter that came in, which would be noted by a blue W over here on the left, you can see that behind my current screen. You can start from here. I'm going to find my patient. And under the reason, I'm going to select virtual check-in. Now this reason is very important and we'll get through why, but it will be very important to be able to track these virtual check-ins easily to make sure that the claim is being created. You'll want to select the provider that will be addressing this virtual check-in. I'm just gonna put a message here, patient called in, complaining, of stomach pain. Maybe the provider needs to call them back, so I'm going to say please call them back, or perhaps they can speak to them right away. But this is patient initiated. For a virtual check-in. After the message has been set, you've selected virtual check-in as the reason. You need to click virtual visit. This is going to put a little check mark next to virtual visit. And you can see it looks like a full progress note, and perhaps you're familiar with this screen already. After you've created that virtual visit, however, you want to click progress note. And this is to get into that progress note screen that you're used to seeing, so that it's a little bit easier to document. With a virtual check-in, as you would for a telehealth visit, you need to obtain patient's consent so that they understand that you are diagnosing whether they need to seek further care, whether they need to perhaps come into the office. And it is best to use a template for this. Here at Ravel, we have a team who is helping to implement these templates that you will see as I import that from the right chart panel. And this is our telehealth visit template. 
to the first item, discuss consult with the patient and receive verbal consent to proceed. So to fill this out, I simply click the green And I fill in the date as today, the platform, since this is a virtual check-in, it's going to be telephone. If I need to change this, um, you can obviously customize this to have your individual provider. So perhaps I need to select my doctor for the day. Patient location, provider location, maybe my provider is taking this call from home actually. So I'm going to switch that. The next items are items that need to be documented. So the chief complaints, why the patient is calling in, a brief history, which they should be an existing patient. So you should be able to import that from their prior visit. The assessment, the plan, and that most of the time was spent counseling and coordinating care and a start and an end time. after you've completed documentation in their respective sections, so an assessment needs to be put in. And then the proper visit code. So under add e &M, I've created a new folder for telehealth codes, which you could call this virtual check-in. And I've put in my virtual check-in code on the right side. After I've completed my note, my virtual check-in or my e-visit, my system is set up to pop up the common sense screen, yours may not be. But I'm going to lock my note just as I would a normal office visit note. After I've locked the telephone encounter, the only step that's different here is you will need to create a claim because even if billing codes are added to the virtual check-in via the telephone encounter window. This does not pull to the report for encounters without claims. So it will not automatically be created into a claim. Therefore, you need to click claim, click OK, and the claim is created. From this point, our team at Ravel will take over the claim and fix the errors as there will be place of service errors, um, as this is an ever-changing landscape for these telemedicine appointments. But you verify that a claim has been created with the blue piece of paper that is now next to the claim button at the bottom. Now circling back, now circling back to our telephone encounter window, The reason that creating that telephone encounter reason is so important is because at the end of the day, it would be prudent to have somebody going back to double check for these virtual check-ins that a claim was created because again, that claim is not going to be created automatically. So to do that, it's pretty simple um, to click into the telephone encounter you see that it's addressed, but you'll want to click progress note and confirm that the blue piece of paper and confirm that the blue piece of paper at the bottom is next to the claim button. Thank you for watching the short video on virtual check-ins and e-visits. Again, my name is Meredith Angel and I'm an ECW Certified Implementation Specialist at Rebel.